Let me begin by thanking uh, Joseph Javagis with Good Job Station. And uh, all of the religious leaders who are here today, and most importantly, everybody, every worker who is here today, prepared to stand up for dignity. Today, as we welcome Pope Francis to the United States and the U.S. Capitol, I hope that every member of Congress and the President will heed his call for social and economic justice. The United States of America today is the richest country in the history of the world. But most Americans don't understand that or feel that because most of the wealth and most of the income is going to a handful of people at the top. Now, in my view, when we talk about morality and when we talk about justice, we must understand there is no justice when so few have so much and so many have so little. There is no justice when millions of people throughout our country, including people working in the United States Senate, are working for wages that are too little to take care of their kids, to take care of their family. That's wrong. That has got to change. There is no justice in America when the largest low-wage employer is not McDonald's, it is not Burger King, it is not Walmart, it is the United States government. Now, instead of being a low-wage employer, the United States government has got to become a model employer. Decent wages, decent working conditions, a $15 an hour minimum wage, and the right to form a union. The time has come for President Obama to end this injustice by signing an executive order requiring federal contractors to pay all of their workers no less than $15 an hour. With decent benefits and with the right to form a union. So brothers and sisters, thank you all very much for being here. All of you know that throughout the history of this country, nothing significant has ever been accomplished without struggle, without people standing up for dignity and saying enough is enough. <laughs> 